just going to have a look at some uh, basic algebra. Hopefully for most of you this is going to be uh, a revision type topic. So basic algebra, some terms you need to know about, some basic terms, variable, what is a variable? It's something that can take on different values. So as far as you're concerned, a variable could be x, it could be a, it could be a w, it could be anything like that, any symbol or letter that will provide you with a variable and can take on different values. A term, a term, so it would be something like 2x or 3a or 2w squared. That is a term, a self-contained unit if you like. So that's what's meant by a term. An expression could be something like 2x plus 2y. That's an expression. Okay, so it's a little bit more. It's made up of terms with an operation. Okay, so that's an expression. An equation is what it sort of suggests. An equation is going to have an equal sign in it. So 2x plus 2 equals 6 is an equation, an equation that we can solve. It's got an equal sign in it. And a formula, probably the most famous formula that you're aware of, is E equals mc squared, Einstein's formula. Um, but it could be just something like speed equals distance divided by time. It's a formula, it's something that you can actually use in practical circumstances and it's uh, something that, that you can then use in maybe science or construction or something like that. Okay, An identity I'm not going to talk about today. So, what topics do we need to know about in relation to algebra? We need to know in relation to basic algebra a bit about substitution, a bit about expanding, expanding brackets, collecting like terms and a bit of factorisation. And that's briefly what's going to be uh, covered in this presentation today. It may be that parts of the presentation are not relevant to you, to the work that you're doing, you're being expected to do, so obviously you can just move through those parts of the presentation. But overall, let's start with substitution. Substituting values into an algebraic expression. What does that mean? So if we say a, so that's your variable, a takes a value of 4, what does 2a equal? 2 lots of 4. 2 lots of 4 is 8. So that's the value of your term. 2 lots of 8 plus another 2. So 2 lots of 4 is 8 plus another 2 would give us 10. 3 lots of 8, 3 lots of 4, is 12, take away 2, is 10. What about 2a squared? Well, if a is 4, 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16, 2 lots of 16 is 32. And then finally, we've got a bracket here. Oh, this big mass tell us, it says we've got to do the brackets first. So we've got a, 4, so 4 plus 6 is 10, 2 times 10, gives us 20. That's what's meant by substitution. Very, very, very quickly just run through that there. Expanding brackets. I'm going to do this in a little bit more detail. Expanding brackets. 3 and then a bracket y plus 2. What happens when we expand that bracket out? When you expand a bracket out, everything inside the bracket must be multiplied by what you've got outside the bracket. So in this case, 3 times y, what's 3 times y? It is 3y. What is 3 times 2? It is 6. So there we've expanded the bracket. Everything inside the bracket has been multiplied by what is outside the bracket. At the moment, we haven't got a value for y. So that's the best we can do. There's no substitution to go on here. We've just taken what's outside the bracket and we've multiplied everything inside the bracket by that 3 that is outside the bracket. 3 times y, 3y, 3 times 2 is 6. 
Okay, multiplying everything inside the bracket by what's outside the bracket. 3 times 2 lots of t. 3 times 2 t is 6 t. 3 times 5, 15. That's the best we can do. We haven't got a value of t, so that is the best we can do. That is a uh, bracket fully expanded. m times p, and then m times 7. All right, so m times p, different, different uh, variables, aren't they? Can't actually combine them. So what does that mean? It just means that's written as mp, m times p. M multiplied by P, just write it as MP. What about M times 7? Multiply them together and it gives you 7N. The final example there, A times B, different types of variable, can't combine them. So just write it as AB, A times B, A written next to B means A times B. A multiplied by a negative C minus AC. So those are important examples there. It goes through from very basic, slightly more difficult numbers, introducing uh, variables multiplied by each other, um, and then taking you through to this final example. So that is multiplying out brackets. Here's some examples here of expanding brackets. Make a pause the presentation and have a go at these examples and see how you get on. When you come back, I'll write up the answers for you. Okay, we'll very, very quickly go through the solutions to these. so far? Now y times 3y? 3y squared. So that's the first column done there. Okay, just take note of these results where you've got an x times an x gives you x squared, a y times a y gives you y squared. Okay. Second column here. there, so it's a negative 3 times y, so that's minus 3, y negative 3 times a positive 2 gives you negative 6. Minus 2, negative 2, multiplied by a negative 4 gives you a positive result, so plus 8. Don't forget your negative numbers. y times y squared, y cubed. one's probably a little bit more difficult. A times 3A. So we've got an A times an A, so that's A squared, 3A squared all together. A times 2AC. A times A gives us A squared. Then we've got the 2 and we've got the C as well. So those are your correct results. Okay, so that's expanding out brackets.
Collect in like terms. I'm just very, very, very quickly going to go through this. Like terms. All of these terms are like terms because they've all got an M with them. They've got a number as well in some cases, but they've all got an M, so they're like terms. You can combine those if necessary. M squared, they can be put together. They can be combined together. PT. So we could add PT and 2PT to make 3PT. We can combine those terms because they're in like terms. Very quickly some examples, collecting like terms, 4T plus 3T. T's are the same, same type of thing in layman's terms. So that's 7T if you add them together. 4P take away a P, leaves you with 3P. Three lots of AB plus two lots of AB, five lots of AB altogether. And that's very, very quickly an explanation of like terms. They must be like terms, ones that you can bind. So 4T plus 3T, yep, yeah, 17. Oh, you might want to pause the video and have a go at these yourselves. Uh, 2Y plus Y gives you 3Y. 3D plus 2 lots of D plus 4 lots of D. So how many Ds have we got all together? We've got 9 lots of D all together. 3T take away a T. Gives us 2T. 4P take away a P. Gives us 3P. 5 lots of E take away 2 lots of E. 3 lots of E. 2T squared plus 3T squared. So that's 5 lots of T squared. It's still like terms. 3 lots of AB plus 2 lots of AB, 5 lots of AB. Now, yeah, A squared B, but they're both like terms, they're both in terms of A squared B, so it's 7 lots, take away 4 lots, so it gives us 3 A squared B. Okay? Right, factorisation. And have a look at this. Factorise an algebraic expression. So, factorise, what does that mean? Instead of multiplying out brackets, expanding brackets that we did earlier on, this is where we put in our expressions, our, ter our terms, we're going to put them into brackets. So, if we look at this expression, <coughs> if we're going to factorise it, We've got to look for what is contained in both of those terms. Well, t's and m's, they're different types of variables, so we can't do anything with those. They're different types of terms. But we have got a 6 and we have got a 9. What's common to 6 and 9? Has it got a factor that's similar to both of them? Yeah, it is. Or we have 3. So if we said we take out a 3, from each of those terms, I'll take out a 3 here, what have I got to multiply 6t by uh, to get back, uh, what have I got to multiply 3 by to get back to 6t? 2t. I'll take out a 3 from here. Now, if I went and multiplied out Expanded that bracket again. 3 times 2t gives me 6t. 3 times 3n gives me 9n. So it takes me back to the start. So factorising is the reverse process of expanding the brackets out, which we did earlier. What is common to both of those terms? A 3. If I take a 3 out of there, what have I got to multiply 3 by to get back to 6t? 2t. What's common to both of these terms? And if I look at the numbers, they've both got a factor of 2. m and p, they don't appear in both terms, but the y does. The y is common to both of the terms. If I take out a 2 and I take out a y from this term, what have I got to put inside the bracket so that when it's multiplied together with the 2y, it would take me back to 6my. If I 
take out 2 and a y from this term, what have I got to multiply 2y by to take it back to 4py? Take out 2, 2 times 2, so that's a 2 there. I've taken out a y, I'm left with a p. Just check, expand out the bracket. 2y times 3n gives me 6my. 2y multiplied by 2p gives me 4py. What is common to both of these terms? What's a factor of 5 and a factor of 25? 5. K is common to both of the terms, so I can take out a K. So I've taken out a 5 and I've taken out a K from there, I'm left with a K that needs to go inside the bracket. So I take out a factor of 5 here, and I take out a K. just left with a 5. Multiply those out to check. 5k times k gives me 5k squared. 5k times minus 5 gives me minus 25k. So it checks out. And the last example there, what's common to both terms? Well, let's just move that out of the way there so we can see properly. Have 10 and 15 got a common factor? Yeah, they have. They've got a common factor of 5. There's 1a in each of those terms, so that's common. And there's a b in each of those terms, so that's common. So inside the bracket, I've taken out a factor of 5, I've got to have 2. I've taken out 1a and I've taken out a b, so I'm left with an a. If I take out a factor of 5 there, I've got to have a number 3, taking out 1a, taking out 1b, so I'm left with a b. So factorising is just about looking at the terms, what is common to the terms. If you've got numbers, what is a common factor here? What's the common factor of 6 and 9? What's the common factor of 6 and 4? What's the common factor of 5 and 25? And that deals with your numbers. Are any of the letters common to the terms? Take those out. That allows you to write your uh, term for outside the bracket, and then you just need to construct your bracket inside. Okay. Let's have a look at some examples. So if you want to pause your video and have a look at some of these examples, So there's the examples for you to have a go at. And here are your results when they are factorised. So what have we gone through today? We've gone through a little bit of basic algebra, we've done a little bit of substitution, we've done a little bit of expanded brackets, we've done a little bit of um, collecting like terms, very briefly went through collecting like terms, and then at the end there uh, we've done factorising. Okay, so we've done those four topics, basic algebra, uh, pick out whatever you need to concentrate on uh, to be able to deal with your tasks today. Thank you very much for your attention, I hope that has been useful to you.